And hello there. I just want to talk about flashlight anodizing today and just tell you exactly what it means. You may have seen flashlights advertised and you may have already bought one in the past and had the, uh, the user manual say somewhere within it that it has uh, perhaps type 3 anodizing, hard anodizing. And what that usually does is that makes the flashlight usually black as most flashlights here like I have uh, most flashlights are like I have here most of them are black and they get their blackness basically from being anodized from the raw aluminum to which they're made of being coated with a process called anodizing um, and it turns it turns it dark in that process uh, many flashlights, some of them are even gray or some of them silver. Now, I'm not going to try to understand some of those particular ones that may be of silver color, but if they're gray and so forth, more or less of a sandblasted color, uh, those are usually coated over and over atop the standard anodizing process. Now, in most cases, whereas you have a flashlight manual here, in most cases it will say on it, and this one does right here, HA3 military grade hard anodized. So it's the HA3, which is the top of the line anodizing process. And uh, now some people may understand this even a bit more, even a bit better than I do, but um, I do know that type 3 is what is primarily used on most quality flashlights. And this one right here will say the same thing. Uh, there it is, HA3, HA3 mil standard hard anodized. So that's what that one says right there. Um, if you're shopping for a flashlight, I think it's probably a good idea to try to get one which, which is hard anodized. And if they are, they will generally say so. What we have here, I'll give you a demonstration. What we have here is a standard outlight flashlight to which you will be able to buy over the internet. They're only about 15 to 20 bucks and come with a whole kit and so forth. But they don't say anything about what kind of anodizing they use on their lights. There's nothing within the specifications, um, either online or if you happen to get something with the package that will explain that. Basically, they, what they use is pretty cheap. And um, what I can do is take uh, an object here, I uh, have a, a nail clipper, and anything sharp will, will be able to demonstrate whether it is hard, and, uh, whether it is hard, hard anodized or whether it isn't, or whether it's type 3 or something less than that. Um, basically, when a sharp object goes across the light, it will scratch it. And if it's hard anodized, it won't scratch. So with this um, outlight here, um, I actually did a previous demonstration just to uh, make sure it was going to be uh, a good candidate, which I assumed it was. And anything like, uh, like the nail file portion of this, if I scrape it across the light thusly, just like this, just give it a little scrape, and see that? See what it did? It just made that mark right there. I just scraped it across the light and it makes a mark which will not come out because it's actually scraping away the coating and underneath is the raw aluminum. So people will buy some of these lights and they'll say, oh, I can tell it's rugged. I can tell it's a good quality uh, product. Just looking at it and the, head, the, the feel and the weight of it, you can tell it's a good quality made product. These are exact um, quotes of what they will say in their comments. That, uh, you know, just by looking at it, you can tell how rugged and durable it is. Well, obviously the coating isn't rugged and durable since I just made that mark just by scraping the surface for a few seconds. Now I can do the same thing here with it, with a, a Sun Wayman light. I can do the same thing with a Night Core light. And I guarantee you it's not going to do that. I can... Um, Let's see, we can take this little corner here and I can scrape it across and nothing. Scrape it like this, just as I was doing with the other one, nothing. If it makes a little mark, I can just brush it away. You will not be able to scratch uh, the uh, hard anodized flashlight the way you will a cheap anodized flashlight. See? 
I just did that around there. It's ma making absolutely no marks at all. It's not leaving not not leaving any sign of uh, of being abused. Whereas this light, I just took a little you know anything sharp right across it is going to make a mark, and what and uh, just wipes away that uh, coating uh, within a few seconds. Actually, here's another mark I made on it. See, I've just been going crazy on this light just to prove that it has, or uh, just to demonstrate and just to show and just to make sure, you know, just, just to see what kind of abuse it can take, but uh, it can't take much, obviously. Uh, this is uh, what you're going to find with most flashlights of this caliber, whether it's Outlight, whether it's Refund, whether it's uh, short, um, uh, Ultrafire, so forth and so on. There are several brands, but uh, basically they're all going to use the same kind of anodizing, which is uh, very easily scraped away with sharp objects. So there you go, your brief demonstration of why it's a good idea to pick up a flashlight which does have uh, type 3 anodizing. It will usually say type 3 hard anodizing and that will be your key to the fact that it is a tough rugged uh, piece of equipment that is not going to um, allow itself to be abused and damaged and so forth. I just made uh, a few scrapes on this one here and again it did not leave a mark whatsoever. So hard anodizing type 3 is what you should look for on most flashlights that, that you do purchase. Uh, if you want to take a look at my website, lightsandgear.com, there's lots of stuff there on flashlights, batteries, chargers, and so forth. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.